Hello, kids. I've got a, a great message from the Bible, God's holy word, for all of you today. Have you ever prayed to God? Have you? Hmm? How about you guys? Okay. It's a good thing to pray to God. Every day, and not just before you eat a meal or at bedtime. Remember what we celebrate at Easter, every Easter. We celebrate that Jesus, who died on the cross and was buried in a tomb, rose from the dead on Easter after three days. And then later, Jesus went to heaven. But you know, kids, Jesus is not doing nothing up in heaven. Today in our first lesson, we learned that Jesus is our great high priest in heaven. Now, what does that mean? Well, as great high priest, Jesus is constantly, and I mean every minute, every second, praying for you and me. Wow. For all people. Jesus is God's son. So whatever Jesus prays for, it must be a powerful prayer. The Bible also says today that we are to approach the throne of grace. That means approach Jesus in our prayers on the throne with boldness. That is, we should go to Jesus all the time in prayer and find help in time of need. What that means, kids, is that whatever is on our heart, can you put your hand on your heart? Whatever is on our heart, whatever is bothering us, we should come to Jesus in our prayers And share it with him. And he will in turn pray to God the Father for us. About what we are concerned about. After all in our gospel today. Jesus proclaims that with God all things are possible. So don't be afraid to pray to Jesus. Uh Uh-uh. Don't be afraid to pray to Jesus. Because he is already praying for you. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we're very thankful that your holy word tells us that Jesus is very busy up in heaven. He sends his spirit into our hearts and tells us what to do, yes, but he is also praying for us to God the Father all the time, day and night. He doesn't need to sleep anymore. He's always there for us, praying for us. So help us to tell him what to pray for. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks a lot.